Okay. All right, Mago High Squad. So, I'm about to show you something um, regarding plans for the future. Mm -hmm. Future plans for Legaya. And I think this will be really cool, really benefit her, benefit us, and just really cool. Mabuhay Squad, check out what I have in mind. See it, see it, see it! All right, so in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is a perch that I do plan on putting here. I don't know if I'm gonna use this perch, which was on top of her cage, or like find another one. But do you see where I'm going now? This is why I'm doing the Gopu clicker trainer thing, because I want her to learn Gopu the command, so that I can eventually place her here when she has to poo, and it'll go into the toilet. This is how you potty train birds. And eventually, they'll get to a point where they'll tell you they have to poo. And I mean, I'm sure Legaya will be able to say verbally go poo um, and associate that with pooing. So, um, that's the goal, guys. That These are future plans. Wish me luck. I hope to get her to the point where she'll be playing with us outside of her cage and then she'll say go poo and I'll take her to here, she'll poo. Or I will literally take her here when I know it's like around that time that she has to poo or she t she'll indicate that she has to poo and then she'll poo and then I'll take her back and uh, she we'll go back to playing. So that's the goal. Crossing fingers. This is going to be a long journey of learning. See, Tita and Karna is talking to you. That, that food really is very healthy, it's grown big. Yeah, she's grown quite large. She seems a bit more at ease with Tita and Karna around. As long as Tita keeps talking to her from a distance. She's a toddler now. Yeah, well, more like a teenager. Yeah. For those of you who are just joining us, recently she started to show some aggress aggression and like discomfort around my aunt, my Titankarna, and my helper. It's okay, it's okay. But we're trying to shake that off. And it was funny, because it just happened, like, literally just, there was a switch. It wasn't even gradual. It was just like one day, she started to show some signs of, like, not liking my aunt, who, in fairness, is still a stranger. But even my Ate Elsie, who, like, raised her too with us. So that was kind of strange. But it's okay, I know these are confusing times. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, she's cuddling. I know. So part of the process of getting Ligaya used to the presence of my Tita Ankarna and Ate Elsie is to just have her sit on this perch and they can just go about their business, see? They can talk amongst themselves and kind of just essentially ignore the bird. So the bird feels secure and safe. And Ligaya doesn't know it yet, but we are actually heading out today. Today is an outing, yes. Which means we're going to use the brand new carrier. Yes. Look at her, she's like, what is that? What is that? For those of you that are just joining us, this here is called the Paradise Perch and Go. I've seen a lot of people use it online for their birds. Um, they come in different sizes. I uh, bought it off Amazon and you assemble it yourself. It says easy to assemble, but my goodness, it was such a puzzle. <laughs> I, like I felt like a parrot using a foraging toy. So, um, it's really neat. Uh, this size was the recommended size for African Grey. They had larger sizes and I'm surprised they didn't recommend a larger size for the African Grey. But maybe for carriers, the smaller it is, the safer it is for the bird. I don't know. But uh, this opens this front door and it locks, you see? See that? It's made of very strong acrylic, actually. I was expecting it to snap at certain parts, but no. Strong acrylic, metal door, very strong. Two sides of it and the top and bottom are made of a see-through acrylic. There are holes here for ventilation. The other side also opens, but it's one of those very difficult sides to open. I don't think it's meant to be opened like frequently, um, but it can if needed. So it also comes with a perch, see that? Which you attach via nuts and bolts through any of these holes. So like you can also use this for smaller birds 
conures and all of that and it makes a good carrier you just carry it with this handle or when the bird is out this container this carrier she can perch at the top here it's really neat so I guess I need to put like paper towel down here for when the guy poos I would have loved for this branch to be thicker but it's okay I mean maybe I could make my own in future uh, but it's really cool allows her to see a lot I don't know how nervous she'll be with all of this visibility because usually I take her around using a bag and she's like protected in there. So this will be kind of different and I think she's ready. She's good at perching now so we'll see. We'll see, see, see. Here we go. Alright, so I'm gonna lay down some paper towel here. Knowing Ligaya at this stage, since she's still such a baby, she will likely sit at the bottom. But I mean this perch is in an awkward middle location so maybe she will stay perched let's see place your newspaper or paper towel here so you can change it when she poos mm-hmm and um my food bowls are a little large but i'll look to get some smaller food bowls that i could attach here like for water and food um anyway i'm bringing her formula so we could feed her as well as some seeds all right the guy i come step down step down step down Good girl, yes, good girl. All right, very good, good girl. She seems intrigued by the holes in the acrylic. Mm -hmm. It does seem kind of cramped in there. Like I, I feel like she can't even spread her wings. But again, this was the size recommended for a Congo African Gray. So um, I, su I suppose it works. And as I thought, she's heading on the ground. <laughs> you should stay on there. <laughs> oh. Go ahead, climb the stick. I'm just gonna leave it open for a bit before I close the cage door. Not that I think she'll panic if I close it, but just so that she feels accustomed. Good girl, very good girl. Yes, yes, yes. She loves the perch though. Go ahead, chew that, chew that perch, chew that perch. There she goes. The Gaia, here, good girl. Okay, time to go, so I'm gonna close this. Don't worry, I'm here, I'm here. Close that seat, this. She's looking all right in there. Nice and comfortable. Okay, there she is. Just hang on there. Hang in there, Ligaya. You can do it. It's heavier than I thought. Like with the bird inside, it's gonna be a nice arm and shoulder workout. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for once, she can actually see outside. The only time she sees outside is when she's on my shoulder. But as we approach the day that she will have her first flight, I am a bit more confident with her in here than like on my shoulder. Guys, it looks like this carrier is a success. She's totally comfortable in it. I feel she's more secure than say, like crawling all over these seats, right? She's looking around. Yeah. See, look, she can look around too. I love the, the clarity of this. Yeah. I really like it. This also helps her practice her perching too and balance. Now, as I was saying, I'm actually waiting for a harness, an aviator harness that I also ordered from Amazon. Um, they don't sell harnesses here in Manila. Checked pet stores, Cardamar, they don't. Not for parrots. Uh, so I had to order online. And I actually ordered this like a week and a half ago. So it's not going to arrive for another few days. Maybe next week. It's like super slow delivery. And that was the fastest they could deliver it. Had it been me, I would have introduced the harness to her when she was a lot younger. So I'm hoping the introduction of the harness isn't too rough. Because they say you have to introduce a harness to the birds when they're young. Because I don't want her flying off and never coming back. I also think I understand now why it's better if it's small. It forces her to stay on this perch as opposed to like crawling around. Whoops. And yeah, I think that's a safety thing. I guess she's safer if she's not like crawling around while in transit. 
and really just sitting on the perch. And I also think she is more confident in terms of balancing issues if the walls are closer to her. Like to know that if she falls forward, she could just use her beak to grab onto this grill here. And like her tail can feel that this is back here as well. I, I feel like she's uh, a bit more confident in a smaller carrier than had this been a lot larger. Now, we're traveling to a location really close to us, so I'll just keep her here for the duration. But when we do travel long distances, I don't plan on keeping her here for the entire thing. Like, I would hate to be cooped up in this if I were her for hours and hours while traveling. But she seems all right in here. And I feel like she feels secure in here. RJ's giving her a seed. RJ dropped the seed. RJ's gonna try another seed. There you go. Okay, so when we travel, this is the kit that we bring. So we've got paper towels. Mm -hmm. We've got an actual towel. Of course, we got lots of wipes. Baby safe huggies. Of course, we got fresh water. We've got also some hot water in a thermos for feeding her formula. And this is her formula lunchbox, which has all the mixing materials, the measuring cups, and of course the formula, thermometer, and syringe. And inside we also have seeds in here too. We bring this everywhere. That is her traveling kit. <laughs> okay, so she had her first poo, and right away I love that there's this little like canal, like groove that collects it, so it doesn't go rolling off into your car. Wow, I like this. What a well thought out design. Wiped up the poo. Speaking of which, the cool thing about bird poo is that it doesn't smell. <laughs> also forgot to say, part of the traveling kit is a plastic bag because garbage. Thank you, Kuya Peter. Okay. All right, let's go. Ooh, see that? Oh, because of the temperature difference, it's condensing. Mabuhay Squad, we are here at the Good Shepherd Sisters Convent in QC and with us, well, we're here visiting um, and this is Sister Frances. Yes. Hello, Sister, Sister Frances. Hello, welcome to thank the you. Philippines. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, we, I live here. Tita is yes. visiting okay. Philippines. And, and German. German. Welcome to Tola Easy, the Persian community of Good Shepherd Convent. Oh, yes. awesome. Thank you thank for you. having us. Yes. Michael, thank you. Michael, they are standing here. Invite them to come and buy. Oh, guys, there are she some really cool sure. products here that the sisters have see look lots of like statues rosaries postcards oh look look at all these goodies they make oh <gasps> mm. butter oats cashews peanut brittle mm. peanuts juice jams this is great amazing sister come meet our child <laughs> This is Legaya. Yes, it's a parrot. Okay, Michael, you talk about the parrot. Sister, I guess called Sister Concepta. Yes, this is Legaya. She's an African grey parrot. Very different, yeah. I would not uh, say without you. I would not. I would not have thought it was a parrot. Michael. Yeah, she's um, she's really unique looking. I think. Yeah. And she's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually her new carrier. <laughs> it's a she. Yes. Wow, she seems comfortable. And you have food. What's your food? Uh, veggies and fruits. Mm. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow, she's kissing your finger. And she's trying to pick your at tongue, this seed that RJ put there. I'm glad she's at ease with Sister Frances. That's great. What I love about this carrier is that look at how at ease she is. I guess I, I can't explain it. Like. 
Had I been carrying her around in the bag, she kind of retreats and like hides from the rest of the world. And it's kind of like a one-way mirror kind of feel where only she can look out, but like she feels like you can't look in. But with this, where everything is kind of like visible, I guess it encourages her to really engage with the outside of this carrier while still feeling secure and safe somehow. It's really interesting. Like, look, she is not showing any signs of discomfort or fear or anything like that. Great. So my tita, my aunt, and Karna, who by the way, if you're just joining us, is visiting us here in Manila from Toronto, Canada. She's like my second mom. <laughs> Really, like she raised me most of my life along with my mother. She studied with the Good Shepherd Sisters here in the Philippines. Um, and so every time she comes to the Philippines, she drops by the Good Shepherd Sisters convent to visit friends. And guys, the Good Shepherd Sisters convent, there are several by the way in the Philippines. Look at how beautiful the garden is. Beautiful property, they've got massive trees, old growth trees, tons of plants. It's so gorgeous, this property. This is just one section of it. They also have a location in Baguio, uh, which is out in the, the mountains here in the Philippines. Go and again, gorgeous property. In Tagaytay, which is like one or two hours away, also in the highlands. It's, it's amazing, the Good Shepherd Sisters. They really take good care of their property. Look at her, she's totally listening to the conversation. I think she's sleepy. I wonder if she'll fall asleep in the carrier. She probably will. Yep, she's drifting off now. Tired. It's really cool because I could easily just throw a cloth over this carrier as well, if needed, to give her some darkness. And if ever we check into a hotel and I can't bring her massive cage, it makes a good sleeping quarters, right? She wanted to come out. Yes. Looking at me. That's Sister Frances. Yes. Yeah, she is. Don't bite me. She's surprisingly comfortable around you, sister. <laughs> Proud of you, Ligaya. You're doing a great job out here in your new carrier. Mm -hmm. Hello, Sister Ligaya. Hi, Sister Ligaya. <laughs> Are you Sister Ligaya? We actually brought you here because <laughs> she's gonna stay here. <laughs> she's not laughing at your joke. All right, back in the van because it was getting hot out there. But she needs water, so I've Got her syringe here, fresh, <coughs> clean water, right? And then I just give it to her using this syringe. Drink, drink, my child. Great. Yes. Good girl. <coughs> you thirsty? Uh huh. And it's nap time under my shirt. Mm -hmm. Now another reason I prefer this carrier over the bag is that her droppings, her poo, falls to the bottom and she stays on the perch so the poo doesn't get on her body at all, right? Unless she like crawls all over it. But here, sometimes I don't notice that she's pooed right away and then by the time I realize that she has pooed, it's sometimes all over her underside, she stepped on it, it's really a big mess. So um, that's another reason why I feel this Paradise Carrier is a better option than say this bag, right? Or a box or like a <coughs> container or a basket. Flap those wings, flap those wings, flap those, flap those, flap those wings. She's in the singing mood. Now one thing I don't feel is suited for my African Grey in terms of this carrier is this perching handle here is really thin. It's not big enough. Um, as a general rule, their grip needs to be at just about half the diameter of the perch, but this perch is way too small for her. I'm sure I could somehow cut this here and cut this on the other side and maybe add some 
a larger, thicker wooden um, stick, and then just simply attach this, both sides of this plastic to that wood. Maybe that might work, but the way it is now, um, not thick enough for her. I do also hope to replace this part as well with maybe natural wood, because this is not big enough for her. I feel like this is okay for, say, a parakeet or a conure. Same as this here, but for African greys, I feel like it's too small. Another great thing I love about this carrier, of course, is it keeps the bad guys out. That's right. So stray cats, maybe squirrels or rats that might want to eat the bird or even birds of prey. Like I, I feel confident that I could just leave this here and some stray cat or dog won't come and like the bird. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you wouldn't want to leave this in the sun. Definitely not. And there should always be fresh water and food. I need to get a water bowl, but she just had a lot of water, so. I'm, I'm confident she's okay. Bubble High Squad meets Sister Rosario. Yes. Uh, Good Shepherd. Yes, from the Good Shepherd Sisters Convent. Um, I've known her for many years now. Since she was a little boy. Since I was a little boy. Yeah. You came to visit Toronto, right? Yes, I did. Many years ago, yes. She's a good family friend of ours. Right, Tita? Oh, guys, look at that giant millipede. I would never touch it, though. Cyanide. Poison, guys. I touched one of those last year, and my eye turned so red and itchy, I felt like I was going blind. Seriously. This carrier also makes sure she doesn't get into any places she's not allowed or eat things she shouldn't be eating, like that millipede. <laughs> Good morning, sister. Good shepherd, sister. Okay, and Karna. Karna, sister, may we see you. Sister remembers my tita and Karna. So apparently, when you enroll here in this um, convent where my aunt studied, you change your name to one of your parents' names. Isn't that interesting? So here, my aunt, whose name is Encarnacion, her name was Lucia, which is the name of my grandma. Good morning, sister. Yes, good morning. Sister P is very good in music. Oh, right wow. You're a musician, she was sister. She in Canadian Idol. She sings yes. very well. Thank you. Now, let's go inside. Let's inside? Let's sing. Okay. Oh, music? Yes. Sure, I'll sing, I'll sing a little bit. Sing. I will sing too. Okay, RJ will sing too. Sister Pia. Oh wow. <laughs> Reunion. Hello, sister. Sister Lulu. Sister Lulu. Hello, Paul. We are together in the together. convent. Oh. Who's the eldest? They were the youngest man. Oh really? Yeah. So you guys studied together. Yeah, we live together. Oh, oh wow. We live in that building. Which building? There, behind. Oh, oh right. wow. So how many years friendship is this? Oh, 50 years plus. 50 years plus? Oh my goodness. That's oh, awesome. <laughs> Mabu High Squad, this is Sister Angela. She knew me since I was a little kid. Yes, yeah, she'd come and visit Toronto. <laughs> oh my, she's going to play. No, you're going to sing. I will sing, but you have to play. OMG, this is going back to my church day. Yeah, I mean, I used to sing in church every Sunday. And then you said, Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yahweh. Sister, you're amazing. You give me goosebumps. 
Okay, RJ, you're next. Yes, go sit. Sing, sing. Sister said, introduce your bird. <laughs> Sisters of the Good Shepherd Convent, I'd like you to meet Ligaya. This is Ligaya. She is an African gray parrot. Yes. She's ten, 10 weeks old. Yes, she's very... She cannot talk yet. Maybe soon. After, yes. after one year, she can talk uh, more than 1,500 words. Wow. And she can live for 80 years. She can live for 80 years. Oh, she can enter the convent. <laughs> she can enter the convent. Yes. She'll definitely come and visit. Maybe give her a baby. Are you giving her? Yes. Yes, this is a uh, Maya Laga. She eats seeds and pellets and formula pa, because she's a baby. She's a baby? Yes. Yes. She's quite, she's grown so fast. Uh, Sister Bernard. Good morning, Sister Rossi. Sister Angela. Lady. Sister Lady. Amy. Amy. Ella. Sister Ella. Sister Benigna and Sister Tanya Michael. Sister ben Benigna taught us church history. Oh, really? In the novitiate. Oh. Do you know, Sister, that every time you take us, uh, I was really, uh, how shall I call it, very inspired. Wow. You taught us church history. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Hai mai kli aking hirang kung kaya kailangan ang pagsuyong wagas kailanman. What a big day you've had, Ligaya. Yes. And it's feeding time. It's lunch. Well, look. See, she's pooed a few times and completely clean. That is such a good thing. Ligaya, I am so proud of you. You did such a good job today. Yes, yes. I know you're hungry now. Yes, yes. Good girl. Step up. Step up. Good girl. Yes. You can stretch your wings now. Go oh, stretch, stretch. All right, my high squad. Now we're having lunch, but you won't guess where we're having lunch. Check it out. <laughs> 